Um, this is my little cobra in shed. I'm trying to find a good spot for filming. I guess this is as good as it gets. Um, the little guy is growing like weed and he's in shed again. Whoa, start hissing as well. I just want to show the uh, blue eyes and the black head and how it looks. Let's get him hood. Ooh, scared little bugger, isn't he? Yeah, I have him in water because he's having shed problems. Uh, the ambient humidity is not as good as he wants, probably. So some of the shed remains on him, and I have to peel it off, and that's never fun. So I'm trying to get him wet before he sheds, um, so that he doesn't have a problem while he's doing it. And this is how he looks now. He's getting darker with age. Whoa. Color gets blacker. And he's supposed to be all black when he grows up, so it's good. Okay, I'm not going to stress him too much. I just want to show how he looks. And then I'll probably do this again right after he sheds so that we can see how awesome his colors are. Hey guys, we have the little Moroccan Cobra out of shed and he just looks incredible. He's a beautiful snake, a little hard to see and I'm just closing up since Cobras cannot strike upwards. I feel quite confident but look amazing. The black color is spreading and I'm hoping hoping that he's gonna be all black look at this it's just an amazing snake let's see if he's gonna strike the camera you are only a few centimeters from whoa nice from the head of the snake I'm just trying to get some amazing footage for you Look at that beauty. Just an amazing animal. Uh, with very, very potent neurotoxic venom, the neurotoxins, uh, as the name implies, attack to the nerves. And what they do is they uh, pretty much shut the nerve up for a temporary period of time and um, that leads to paralysis and um, what usually kills at first is that your diaphragm shuts up and eventually you cannot breathe and of course when you cannot breathe you die but hopefully we are not gonna get bitten today so um, there won't be any problem. There is an antivenom available for all Egyptian cobra complex and um, it will save your life if administered in a timely manner. But um, this subspecies of the Egyptian cobra comes from Morocco and uh, they are highly prized amongst reptile keepers because of this wonderful shiny black color and um, as they age the color spreads and usually they turn out to be completely black oh, okay let's try this once more without getting killed whoa yeah he kinda saw my fingers on the uh, camcorder and went for those which was really scary <laughs> but yeah the um, Moroccan Cobra is a subspecies of the Egyptian Cobra the uh, famous snake 
that Cleopatra used to kill herself, commit suicide. And um, they are widely distributed snakes, highly uh, people are scared of them, but people also show a lot of respect to this animal. Uh, the cobra, because of the hooding behavior that we see right now, um, gets a lot of religious respect from the people all around the world. And um, you can see a lot of cobras on Buddhist uh, drawings and sculptures and cobras are respected at least all around the world of course the uh, extremely venomous bite um, is a contributing factor but not the only thing as you can see we are looking at the head scales right now these are the uh, typical elapid head scales, two, four, six, seven, eight scales on top. Are pretty much like plates. And you can see this on pretty much on every elapid. Just beautiful, amazingly beautiful. As you can see, he is hooding and he's uh, trying to scare us off saying that he's dangerous and we should be careful with him and um, what I will try to do now is just I'll put my work clothes on and try to hold this guy and see if I can get a closer shot of him in my hand All right. Okay, here is what I wanted to do. Um, the camera is not focusing properly, but yeah, there we go. Whoa, whoa, okay, take it easy, take it easy. Here we have a nice little Moroccan Cobra in our hand. It's a dangerous shot, but it's amazing and I had to do it. And I hope you guys are enjoying this, but uh, I'm a little scared. <laughs> So I'm not gonna um, keep doing this for a long while, but I just want to show him under some light to get some nice color on him. As you see, my gloves are really thick. These are made for uh, snakes, especially, and if he bites that hand, there's no problem. But if he shoots for my other hand and I uh, fail to hold him, and I don't trust my left hand at all, we are in trouble. So. Anyways, I just want to show you this. It's just an amazing, amazing shot of a Moroccan cobra, Naya Haye Legionis. And okay, here we see the typical cobra behavior. He's producing some. Whoa, okay, take it easy. He's producing some fecal matter. Also, another defense mechanism with the smell, he's trying to send me away and he is almost managing it but I just have to take these wonderful wonderful shots amazing animal I really love him and I hope you guys enjoyed this highly dangerous highly venomous but beautiful nevertheless and I'm just gonna stop messing with him now All right here we have a little swaying motion for you snake charmer lovers and the cobra is hypnotizing you, hypnotizing you, saying bye-bye.